Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of January 2021, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Aries, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. <clears throat> and then we'll see, uh, and then we'll see. How does your career, your money, your finances look in the month of January? Or rather, uh, if there is any advice available around your finances, around your career, we'll check that out. Okay? So let's get started now, Aries. Let's get started. So for you, we have is Seven of Pentacles then we have is eight of wands and we have is the sun for your person we have is ace of cups we have is ten of wands and we have is temperance okay let's pull out cards for your money your career your finances for the month of january okay <clears throat> We have nine of wands, we have his high priestess, we have his eight of pentacles, three of swords, and we have his queen of pentacles, okay? So for you, we have seven of pentacles, eight of wands, and we have is the star, okay? So this is your spread, Aries. Aries with that star card I feel like you're about to enter a phase in your life where you're about to experience a life that is free of stress, a life free of worries, a life where you are meant to experience a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, okay? You will notice that people are going to change perception about you, people will change uh, you know, especially people who were sort of not acknowledging whatever you were doing, okay, now they will start freely acknowledging whatever you are doing, because uh, there is certain level of success also that is coming your way, a professional success, personal growth is what you're going to experience, happiness, so when I say happiness, happiness can be in terms of anything, right? uh with that star card i'm i'm sensing that a wish fulfillment is also about to happen <clears throat> so maybe for some of you someone will someone will enter in your life from romantic perspective for some of you you will experience uh, uh, an amazing success at your workplace uh for some of you Maybe if you're doing something of your own and especially on social media, you will experience increase in fan following. You will experience you receiving a lot of appreciation from people, okay, from your fans, from your subscribers, from your followers. Or if you are doing some sort of a business, your customers are going to appreciate you, okay. So what I feel with that star card is life is looking good for you, Aries, okay. And this is the life that you are manifesting for yourself, okay? And maybe maybe you know that this is a life that you are going to experience because you know you have worked real hard in your life, okay? You have made a lot of sacrifices and now it's time for you to reap the uh, fruits of your labor, Okay, you, you have that feeling from inside that whatever sacrifices you have done, whatever work you have put in towards yourself, towards your self-growth, towards your work, okay, uh, success will start showing up in your life, okay, and success in terms of almost everything, Aries, almost everything, success at workplace, success in love life, success in personal growth, okay, lot of happiness lot of satisfaction is coming your way okay but this reaching this place wasn't easy 
okay it's not that you decide today you are becoming you're going to become happy and tomorrow you're happy no this this required you to do a lot of sacrifices there was there were a lot of there was a lot of hard work behind this okay people don't know how much hard work you have put in towards your life okay <coughs> With that seven of pentacles, Aries, what I'm feeling is you're trying to put certain conditions for yourself, okay? So say for example, you are about to move on, you're about to meet someone new in your life or you know that there is someone who is interested in you. Okay, and maybe to a certain level, even you are interested in them. Nothing much has happened between you and this person. But this is what is going on at an initial phase. Okay, and now that things are looking good for you, love opportunities are coming your way. You are opening up your mind uh, to new love, to new love opportunities. Okay, with that seven of pentacles, I feel like you probably are thinking... I wish I would have got a closure from my past person. I wish they would have come towards me. I wish they would have said sorry to me. Okay. So I would have got a better closure and I would have been able to move on in a much, much better manner. Okay. So maybe you are trying to put certain conditions for yourself. Like I'm asking you why. Why Why do you want a closure? Why do you... Uh, is it must that you get a closure? Is it must that they come towards you and say sorry? Given the fact you know what has happened in the past, you know the entire history, you know the way they have treated you, you know whatever has happened between you and this person. Why you are stopping your own progress? Because you you are thinking that if I would have got closure... I would have moved on faster or I would have moved on in much better manner. Don't try to uh, put conditions for yourself. Okay. If this, then that. No. Why? Why you want to do that? Why you are trying to put conditions for your own, own progress? There is no need. Look, if closure happens, fine. Okay. Even, and even if it doesn't happen, still it is fine. Still good. In fact, I'll say it is good. If, if that person comes back and if you start feeling their energy, again, you may find yourself uh, getting confused. Again, there will be a bit of a uh, back and forth energy. Again, you will be in a dilemma. Oh, now this person came back and now they are saying sorry. And so what should I do? Should I check out other opportunities or should I keep on waiting for more time? Okay. Whereas your subconscious mind knows that it's time for you to move ahead. It's time for you to progress in your life. It's time for you to experience other things and other people in your life. Okay, so if you try and put conditions for yourself, you are limiting your exposure. You are limiting your experiences. You are delaying whatever, whatever experiences you are meant to enjoy. Don't delay things for yourself. Okay, don't try to uh, precondition things for no reason. Okay. And now that we have eight of wands next to uh, seven of pentacles, yes, I'm going to talk about your money, your career and your, uh, your finances. But there is this one message that is that is coming through that I must share with you guys. If you guys have applied anywhere for a job or if you are waiting for for a certain communication and if your certain communication related to your work or related to your career and if you're feeling like that communication has not come yet, I, I see that the delay happened for a certain reason and now the communication will come your way. If you're searching a job, uh, there is a positive communication that is coming your way. If you are waiting for a certain deal to happen, okay, with respect to your business, that is going to come your way. Some positive communication with respect to your career, with respect to your profession is coming your way, okay? Right. Now, as far as your person is concerned, we have a Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Temperance.
Aries, someone is interested in you and you don't know, probably. Okay. Or you are like, okay. Or, or maybe you are like, you have taken the note of interest from someone, but you are like, okay, I need to drop certain baggage. Let me put you on hold for some time. Okay. You are still trying to cleanse the energy of the past person. What I see is that either you have taken a note of this new interest, but you are not thinking about it in a very proactive manner or you have taken a note or note of it, but you are sort of trying to take care of other priorities or other important things in your life. Okay, not that you are not interested in this offer, in this Ace of Cups. Okay, you are interested, but there are certain things that probably you need to take care of. Uh, there are certain other priorities where your attention is needed right now. Okay, so with the Temperance card, uh, the advice is if you are a bit fearful about this offer, okay, if you are wondering whether this offer is good or not whether should i accept this offer then please note note that this is this is the offer that will make you really happy okay this is the offer where you'll find uh, becoming a lot more emotionally stable this is the offer where <clears throat> where there is going to be a lot of equal give and take and even if you put this person on hold right now this person is going to wait is what I'm feeling. They are going to wait for you. Okay. So. And they are not going to be like. Okay. So. If you want me to wait. You can go and you can come back. Till the time you come back. I'll check out other people. Okay. No. I don't think so. That is going to be the case. This person is really going to wait for you. Okay. Whosoever this person is. They are very wise. They are very understanding. Very loving and caring. Okay. And they treat people with a lot of respect I believe this is a catch okay and if you're if you're a bit worried about your love life with a temperance card I'm feeling that you're you needn't worry because uh, your love life is looking good Aries I felt I felt that with the star card as well you whatever you have been worrying about so far those worries will be removed out of your life okay all right so now let's talk about your finances about your money your career nine of wands high priestess eight of pentacles three of swords and queen of pentacles eight of pentacles is like you are working hard a lot towards certain things and you are gonna you will expect that now that i'm working so much i should receive acknowledgement and appreciation from people you are going to receive that but say for example if you are expecting 100 percent of appreciation maybe 100 percent will not come your way maybe 80 percent will come your way but what i'm feeling what i'm feeling is that this was not even the case in the past if you were putting 100 percent of of efforts the kind of appreciation and acknowledgement was coming your way was probably around five percent or you know even less than that for some of you okay so you always felt like you were not given enough of appreciation but now what i'm feeling is appreciation is going to come your way and it is going to come in a much 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 better manner than what you did in the past okay with the three of swords the advisors do not feel discouraged or de uh, disappointed okay because if your expectations are not getting fulfilled what i'm sensing is like i told you if you if you're expecting you should receive 100 percent of appreciation that is not going to happen maybe but majority will get fulfilled okay you will have satisfaction your satisfaction levels will be high may not get um, your expectations may not get uh, fulfilled 100 percent but i see majority of your expectations will be fulfilled just because couple of expectations are not getting fulfilled you don't have to feel disappointed or demotivated continue working hard because you are meant to reach here you are meant to become this queen of pentacles okay you are meant to rule aries you are meant to rule you are meant to sit on the throne you are meant to rule people you are meant to rule big teams you are meant to rule 
you are meant to lead big organizations and you have that leadership co- uh, cap- uh, capability right and you are also this balanced individual and you you get charged up when you when you see challenges you get charged up when you see people uh, putting trust in you for getting things done for getting challenging things done for 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 their organizations for their companies or even you feel charged up when you see that you know you are capable of doing big things in your life and that's what i see you are going to do big things in your life and you are meant to rule okay also the best part is you are being accompanied with some amazing psychic ab- abilities you the advice is to use your psychic abilities when it comes to your decision making process in your career in your professional life because that is going to help you a lot okay and that will sort of save you from uh, surprising uh, disappointments or anything okay you will you will know beforehand lot of things okay and you can also save lot of lot of things or you can save lot of losses if you use your psychic abilities properly okay with that nine of wands you probably want to take a leap of faith somewhere aries but you are thinking should i take a leap of faith should i not take a leap of faith whatever it is it you you want to do something of your own you want to branch out uh, from your existing entrepreneurial activity you want to change a job or whatever it is you want to start a youtube channel whatever it is you are one step away from that don't shy away the time is now just go ahead and start that do not keep on procrastinating do not feel shy do not feel uh, any kind of a fear okay money is looking good for you but money will come along with hard work you work hard you're going to get money you don't work hard you're not going to get money okay so there is a direct relationship between your hard work and your money Okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye